Hey everyone, it's Mike, Whiskey Alpha 9 Papa India Echo or VK4 EIE. And it's December, mid December, which means it's the time of the year I like to make my logbook of the world um, DXCC application. So I'm going to do that today and kind of show you how I handle that within Ham Radio Deluxe. So I'm logged into my logbook of the world account and I'm going to go to my awards and check out my DXCC totals and I can see I've got 42 challenge credits to submit which I, if I flick back over here into HRD logbook here's the 42 right here that I have to submit so this is good everything matches up we're ready to go so I want to make my logbook of the world because some of these might be QSL cards um, the 42 are the challenge credits, but I've also got some uh, digital uh, QSOs. And um, so generally speaking, I want to make the uh, online application for Logbook of the World first. And then that'll show me the ones that are left, which would be the cards that I need to collect. So at the moment, I don't know if I've got some or not. Um, I could unselect Logbook of the World and it'll show me zero that leads me to believe that all my cards that I have or all my confirmations I have to submit are online with logbook of the worlds but but we'll see here in a moment okay now that I get to this total screen I'm going to make an application and I'm going to check all so it's basically going to take all the ones that are waiting for me to take action on them click continue and I have not made an application okay so now I'm ready to verify all my information here this all looks good so I'll click continue and it's time to put in a credit card number so um, I'm going to pause the recording here so I can do that and not bother everyone with my credit card information. One moment, please. Okay, so after putting in the credit card information, clicking continue, I've got, um, this is what my application looks like. I'm going to uh, see if I can get the printable PDF. I like to right click and print just so that I've got a list of all the uh, QSOs or confirmations really that I uh, had in the application in case I need to come back and reference it later. So I'm going to do that and give that a file name and save. So now that that's done I'm going to come back to my awards select the DXCC award and I'll see that all of those came over into the in process column okay so now I'm going to go over into my logbook I'm going to look at my awards total so I see these all in not submitted so I want to update that. Here's how to do it. I'm going to click download and I'm going to take the date back, oddly enough, to the dawn of time, back when I was a brand new operator. Really just to make sure that it's, it's not entirely necessary, frankly, but um, it does help make sure that you um, don't miss any of the credits that you were intended to get. So I'm going to click download. Okay, so now that it's pulled them down, 
Notice there's some warnings in there. That just means that there's no match for about 46 QSOs in my log that were made using a different call sign. That's OK. And I'm going to save them to the database. What this does is it pulls down all of the award credits information, which is a little bit different than the process for downloading confirmation. So I'm going to go back over into Awards Tracking. I'm going to click the Refresh button. And now you can see that the all of these credits went over into the submitted column. That means they're in process. And now I can see a couple in here that um, are cards that um, I can go and pull these cards. I've got um, a two meter QSO that I could go and pull and submit that to a card checker, I suppose, which would be one of these cards. And then when the uh, later when I find these uh, have gone out of the in process column, when all these go to zero, they'll be factored into the rest of the columns and I'll get credit for them. When that happens, I'm just going to go back in and do the same process again. And those will get updated into the granted column. They'll no longer be in the submitted column and I'll be all up to date. <coughs> So I'll get this back and up and going when we uh, when those get granted. Okay, so a few days have gone by, and I want to go and check to see if my application's been approved by the uh, AWRL. So I logged into my account, and I'm going to go to Awards and DXCC account. And I'm looking to make sure that the ones in process have gone to zero. Meanwhile, I've gotten another one in, so I guess that's good. But uh, the ones I had have gone to zero, so those all went into the uh, into the awarded total, the granted to granted total. Um, that's what you'll see in the awarded credits column there in the middle. So uh, if I go back over here, and uh, I can see that even if I hit refresh, but all of those credits are still in the submitted column. I'm going to move them over. So how do I do that? I'm going to go download. And once again, because we're trying to get award credits, not confirmations, I'm going to go back to the dawn of time in my log. And I don't have to go back altogether that far, but you know, <laughs> we could do it anyway. So we'll go back to good old 1973. And I'm going to select the first of February. Doesn't matter. It's before, just before I was licensed. And I'm going to start the download. Okay. Once again, it's uh, picked up some that are for my VK call sign, which were in my downloads file. So I expected to see some of them that didn't match. That's perfectly fine. But the purpose of bringing down the whole entire log is because when you just do the log since or when you do the download since the last time you downloaded it's going to pull down your confirmations to get the awards granted status it's best to go all the way back to the beginning because the awards that you got granted could have been at any time along the way and that's not how the daily download or the you know QSO or confirmation download works so you need to go all the way to the back at the beginning I'm going to save that to the database And depending on how many QSOs you have there, this could take a little bit. It's finished now. It's going to refresh the database. Now I'm going to go over here into my awards. I'm going to click refresh. And what we're going to see is that all the submitted will go to zero. And they'll all transfer over here. I should end up with about 1918 or something like that over there with another one showing up over here that I just got confirmed or it's actually going to show up and not submitted the 15 meter one in one fell swoop. So here we go. Good. So all these went to zero. You see my uh, challenge total went to 1918 which is exactly what I see over here. 1918. So we know all these things tick and tie back to the, the totals that I have in my logbook. 
I can see that one uh, 15 meter QSO there that's just showed up. And that is Faroe Islands. This is a CW QSO that I picked up a couple days ago. And I probably could, if I'd waited a day or so, I could have included it in this uh, awards uh, um, application, but I'll wait until next year. No big deal. If I come back over here into uh, my awards, I can, um, I want to see your QSOs or click on your QSOs. I want to see the most recent QSLs. And it's going to show me that one from Faroe Islands at the top and it's waiting for 15 meter credit. But all the rest of them completely match right into um, right into here. I've got a couple on 2 meters and 440 that I need to square away that were related to satellite QSO I need to make some corrections to. But aside from that, that's how it works. And uh, so that's how you make a QSO or a uh, logbook of the world submission uh, using Ham Radio Deluxe. I'm Mike, Whiskey Alpha 9, Papa India Echo or VK4, EIE 73 is all.